Hello guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is MC Lion 254, the leading hub of information, technology, and talent. You are welcome back as we start stories, episodes of stories that we'll be giving uh, to you. So, Leo, nimemwalika Madam Emma, aweze ku, tuweze kupiga story na ye. So, Emma, karibu sana, na ebu tueleze majina yako yote na unaishi wako. Na ito Emma Mangondu, naishi mta wakayole. Okay, so, Emma, tell us... Um, your story like you gave me a very interesting story and i said i will give it to my 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 fans what is really happening in this country of ours so you gave me a story and you nataka to take through your okay story about kukoni kumoja nilipata na mzungu kwa Facebook na tukawa marafiki tukawa tuna chat tukaishi kama watu wanajiwana so huyu rafiki yangu alikuwa alikuwa kama boyfriend yani lakini boyfriend mwenye ayuko Kenya so siku moja akaniuliza kama niko tayari kupokea zawadi kutoka nje hapo Italy nikamwambia yes niko ready akaniambia sawa na kuwekea chains na kuwekea taabu na kuwekea dollars so akaniwekea vitu mbovu viatu beti na sikapandishwa ndege kwa kweli akapiga picha mpaka nikaona akapiga mpaka akiwa airport kidogo kidogo ulikuwa umejuana na yeye kwa muda unatosha nani ilikuwa like 2 weeks haiko imekaa sana <laughs> 2 weeks yes okay okay sawa sawa endelea so kukuwa na ile mentality ya naenda kuomoka ikanifurahisha sana na nikawa tayari kuomoka na nikatumiwa hizo dollars <laughs> Sasa jamba moto ilinipata wakati niliambiwa zimefika yapo tukaka tukachati na ya kanyambia hamepata ujumbe kutoka yapo ya Kenya asha pigiwa simu zimefika huku Kenya Mada kika ziku isha ngapi nika pigiwa tena simu kutoka yapo ya Mombasa Nika ambiwa mziku wangu mefika pale na sasa wanataka hile hile ya kuachilia sasa mziku upuja Clearance and forwarding Hiyo clearance fee hiyo walikuwa wanataka. Sasa mimi nikauliza ni pesa ngapi? Wakaniambia ni. Nikauliza kama msiku unaweza fika kwanza ndio ndio mapele pesa. Wakaniambia iwezekani hakuna vile itakuwa kilea kwa kwa airport ikuje Nairobi kama ija ijalipiwa. So ilibidi nitafute hiyo 1000. 1000 kutafuta mimi mwenyewe sina kazi. Nikabidi sasa ule mzee wangu ni mwingize pini nikamwambia nahitaji 1000 nifanyie kitu na ni agent agent yes pamamba <laughs> akataka sana kujua lakini singe kubali kumwambia ni boyfriend wangu amenitumia mzigo sasa 1000 ikabidi akanitafutia haraka jua kujua ni haraka gani nilikuwa nayo akanitafutia 1000 nikatuma kutuma nikaambiwa mzigo umetoka Mombasa nakuja Nairobi in less than 3 hours nikapigiwa simu tena nikaambiwa ni napigiwa simu kutoka airport JKA sasa nikawa na furaha ile furaha nyingi sana nikaambiwa mziko umefika na inaletwa mpaka nikaulizwa bali niko nikaeleza mpaka usinaba mziko wangu ukakuja kupigiwa simu baba nikaambiwa tena mziko umeshikwa na askari manaka wamejua kuna dola hapo ndani so askari wanataka 1500 Nika nikatafuta tu kwa marafiki hivi haraka haraka juu wanakuharakisha vibaya sana. Wanakwambia itafika kotini na ikifika kotini tena ni case. Na ni mimi nitafungwa. So ile threat ilifanya nikatafuta pesa kwa haraka. Nikazituma. Kutuma ile pesa nikaambiwa sawa. Mzigo umefika wapi? Sasa kutwa tena mzigo wapo kuleta kwa nyumba ni pesa ingine. Nikawambia nitume mtu anichukulia nilete wakaniambia iwezekani kwa sababu huyo mtu kutumwa sasa wakasema anaweza iba zile dola sijui walijuaje kulikuwa na dollars manake si mzigo umetoka ngambo lakini pia ile hali ya kutaka sana ikafanya sikuwa na kufikia pia sasa kutumana kutafuta ile elfu moja nikampigia simu hiyo mtu nikamwambia basi fanya ibweni ngoje na kukuchia kukuchia wapi 
Jamaa kufika mimi kufika tao nikumpigia ashiki. Kumuuliza uko hoteli gani yako mteja? Nimeblokiwa, simu zote zikaenda mteja, mimi nikabaki tao. Nimepoteza pesa, nimepoteza 1015, nimedanganya mume, amepopa pesa, akaniba tena shida ndio hii. Jamani wapendwa. <laughs> Sasa kidogo tu nikuulize, uh, wewe umechuana na mtu for two weeks na unaamini anaweza kutumia dollars na kutumia uh, bidhaa za dhahabu na silver. <laughs> Amini haraka hivyo. Pengine tuseme wewe ni mtu wa kuamini mtu haraka. Okay, ile kusota iko siku hizi na kukosa inafanya tukue na hiyo tamaa ya kuamini. Tunafanya tunaamini, yani unaweza kinyima hata unaweza kopa. Enye hiyo pesa hata wenye nilikopa hiyo 1500 kwa naambia na warudishia kesho. Kama after three hours. So naambia mtu wacha tu kesho asubuhi na kurudishia. Unaona ikaniacha kwa mashida. Nimekopa mume pesa, nimekopa marafiki pesa tena mwenye kutuma pesa hapatikani tena mzungu kuingia pale kwa facebook ameni blog ikawa shida juu ya shida <laughs> siji wao ulifanywa nini hapa mtazamaji wangu lakini of course hizi ni mambo ambayo hufanyika kabisa lakini sasa tutafanya nini of course sasa ema uliweza kuripoti hii kesi popote ama ulifanyaje sasa nilienda kunika report Kuripot kwa kawaida polisi watataka kujua mlijua naje, mmewahi patana, huo mtu anaishi wapi? Nikamwambia eh, sasa ile tu ya kudanganya ndio wafuatilie pesa yangu. Nikamwambia yes, tunajuana na na huu mzungu. Paka niuliza mzungu tena. Paka nisi sasa kesi ya mzungu na tuko Kenya tutakesaje? Na ile majina ukituma Mpesa yako yanaleta majina ya mzungu. Ilikuja wafura. <laughs> So polisi walikumalizaje? Sasa polisi waka, wakataka kujua sana huu mtu anaishi wapi. Mimi nikamwambia sijui. Ninachojua mzigo wangu umepotea na pesa yangu imepotea. So nikajaribu kueleza wakanyambia hapana dada umeibiwa. Ume, ume Sasa nikabaki sina option juu ikifika hapo polisi pia wawezi wakakusaidia. Umeshaibiwa na mtu mwenye hata ukuchu. Majina uyachu. My fans all over the world uh, mnaweza kusikia hiyo story tunaendelea kupiga story na mwanadada mmoja hapa anaitwa Immaculate anatueleza vile aliweza kukoniwa na ujumbe umenifikia kwamba watu wengi kabisa wameweza kukoniwa na mambo hiyo na hata tunaweza kuandikia hapo chini kwa story utuandikie ulikoniwa namna gani na pengine story yenyewe tutakaba next itakuwa ni yako kwenye hizi episode ambazo tunaendelea kukapa minwe Uh, immaculate baada ya kuona mambo kama haya sio uko na yepi ya kuadvise wadada pengine ma youth pengine wa wazee na yepi ya kuadvise uh, hawa watu kuhusiana na uporaji ama uponman ambayo kufanya okay kitu naweza waambia kwanza mtu akikuuliza friend request nenda uangalie marafiki wake ni wangapi manake after kufuatilia nilipata mimi i was the only friend <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen this is interesting but we get to tag you got to tag along with us so that we get more information remember we said MC down to five is the leading up of information talent and empowerment ufuatilie huyo mtu yes ufuatilie huyo mtu kwanza uangalie hata hao marafiki wake ni wakizungu ama ni marafiki wa Kiafrika juu mtu anakuambia ni mzungu lakini marafiki wote ni watu wa Kenya watu weusi hakuna hata kamzungu kamoja jamani hata kamoja sasa ukiona mtu anakuharakisha sana jua huyo hata 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 hizo gift as existing by the way lakini ulitumiwa picha nilitumiwa lakini kufuatilia nilipata ni hiyo ndio picha ile wanatumia kutumia kila mtu maana hiyo yangu ni afadhali kuna wengine wametumiwa wamekoniwa maelfu mamia Ladies and gentlemen all over the world this is MC Lion 254 make sure you subscribe to this video subscribe watch and share our videos to reach a lot of people this is Emma and she has just advised us on how to keep away from these vultures who are looking for money uh, from people uh, of this country ladies and gentlemen 
let's meet in the next episode let me see your comments there and let's see what the next episode brings to us bye